So what you saying? Money. Get out my business. Okay. This is going to be um this is part of the show where we just talk about stuff that happened that we want to fill you in on. Uh, starting off with is Britney, bitch. And I think it's been more than a minute since we've been live. <laughs> yeah, we've been up for at least two minutes. Okay, cool. So we're talking about Britney. Uh, oh, shout out to uh, Zero Dystopian. Uh, thanks for jumping on. I'll follow you once uh, we get a chance. Don't be don't be shy, Dystopian. You better come say hi. Uh, but we're talking about Britney. Uh, it's Britney, bitch. Uh, 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 TLDR, because this story spans literally 10 years. To, Eric, do you know this story? No, bro, no, I don't know anything about Britney Spears. Okay, so basically, she was the first person I probably uh, had a wet dream about, but that's not what you're here to listen to. What I okay. am here to tell you... <laughs> All right. <laughs> the thing I am here to tell you about is that after a certain period of time, remember there was a point where there was this angry dude underneath a blanket. He said, leave Britney alone. Like, from that point on, her life went to shit because she shaved her head, she had like two kids. She has a stint in Vegas. But something that a lot of people don't know about her is that she's under a conservatorship, which basically means she has no f- independence of her life, her financials, her her body. She has no autonomy over any of that. And if you're thinking that's Sharia law, well, that's what, what, like why? How? And this is why, because she had a multitude of mental breakdowns and a lot of mental issues that she has now since recovered from and gotten proper help and therapy for that she can suffice as a 40-year-old woman, but her father has continued to keep that conservatorship. And the thing about conservatorships, sort of like American prisons, is once you get into one of them, it's goddamn near impossible to get out of them. So Mm -hmm. her conservatorship has been all over the part. But basically, there's been this ongoing petition for the last year and a half to get her out of it. And the lawyer, who is now in charge of it because the dad is too sick to be in charge of it, has now started lying on behalf saying that she is not well she doesn't want and some of these are some of the things that Brittany just wants to do Brittany wants to be able to travel eight minutes down the road to go see a friend Brittany wants to be able to have another child she cannot Brittany wants to be able to determine which shows she performs in and doesn't perform in she has no regulation on on, that hold on Why, why she can't even pick and choose her venue because she's not allowed to have a lawyer so she can't even defend herself in the court of law if she wants to get out of the contract the conservatorship is a complete total uh this is it's not not like slavery it it is but it's more designed for people who cannot who cannot this is for someone who's extremely on the far end of the mental instability range someone has a mental disability that that can they cannot survive on their own but it is being used to harness and literally milk her dry. And her whole estate should be ashamed of themselves. Free Britney, bitch. Uh, I'm chanting it. You guys can chant it. That's the story. Hopefully she gets what she wants. Uh, I feel like I feel like this isn't going to end well. But, we're hey, I, we hope for the best. Um, the richest dude, the richest black dude in America wants his reparations. And he ain't fucked up about it. Uh, this is the CEO of BT. Or the former owner of BET, Robert L. Johnson, the founder of Black Watch Entertainment out. Television, uh, America's first billionaire. He wants his check from the government, and he's like, he's tired of waiting, and he thinks that this should be a thing. But me and Eric have a theory on what we should really be asking for instead of money. What's what do you what is that thing, Eric? I want to be exempt from taxes until I'm um, for for thirty years. <laughs> Eric being greedy. If we did not say thirty years the first time, but. <laughs> it was 10 years but but what's our logic behind this if you got to think about the 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 tax rate if you think about the average income of a black man in this country is about forty one thousand dollars single tax rates between now it's between 15 18 percent let's just say it's 18 percent you what could i do with 18 percent? i can save that money i could invest it in the market i can get into stocks i can get into bonds if you watch the channel you can be following the trade tribe and you'll be having your dividend account your weeble over we're gonna put the link in the description so you can go ahead and sign up and, and here we're gonna tell you which which stocks that he's following we don't give out any kind of financial advice but I'm just a quick right side now, note just a quick side note i will be dropping a video when i spend five thousand dollars i spent five thousand dollars buying dividends and i'm gonna use one thousand dollars and let the chat decide what i buy just out there see hero giving out free games so y'all make sure y'all 
stay tuned for that. We will be dropping that. Make sure you got the notifications on so y'all get that when Hero drops that because it's going to be live on being here, making it rain too. So we're going to be putting some money out here in the market. Anyway, yo, so I'm telling you guys, you got to just be focused not on not on people like this. He, he, this is this sounds good, but it's really not what we need. If you don't if you don't have to pay taxes, I'm talking about anything. I'm talking about no sales tax. I'm talking about no mm. income tax. I'm mm. talking about no property tax. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. How much money you can save and invest? How many business we can start? How much pe- how much money we can all save, put something together and go start an enterprise. That's yeah. what I'm saying. This is this is a better thing. Hero, what like what are your thoughts? I mean, for me, I'm never gonna take the advice of a bleeding heart. You're a billionaire. Shut the fuck up. There are literally people out here who don't have like running water and electricity. There's kids in Mobile, Alabama who go to sleep hungry every day. Like yep. uh, reparations is cool and all, but it's sort of like that uh watermelon and fried chicken stunt. There's certain <laughs> things people are doing that are making black people look yeah. bad. Like yeah. stop getting a you already told you, we're not getting angry about some dude offering us watermelon and chicken. That's some good shit, man. I don't I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. I don't like watermelon, bro. I don't like watermelon. Man, that watermelon is shit, bro. But um, for for the whatever it's worth, that's it. But for all you gamers out there, uh, you need to hold your horses. Stop giving GTA 5 money. What am I doing? Oh, that's my voice. Uh, stop giving GTA 5 money because GTA 5 is making so much money that they have decided to push back the launch of GTA 6 all the way to 2025. Now, for all you guys that know me, you know I love the GTA series. I complete all the missions. I always play it. But when the online gets too hectic, like online has become a whole nother thing now. Like it's just too hectic. It's a cash grab. Every hundred day, every hundred, every thirty days, you're spending a hundred dollars on it. Why would they feel pressed to make another game? Eric, what's your thoughts on this? Man, I love Grand Theft Auto, but to hear that they're pushing out a game release that they can probably put out right now for four years because the they want to ride this revenue wave that they have. To me, is just greedy number two it just speaks to how much time people are actually spending on these video games i did not know it was this serious but i like the missions i'm upset because i'm a person who looks forward to grand theft auto i don't know that's just me i don't play very many video games but grand theft auto is a game a reason why i don't own a console because i would play a game like this for 12 hours a day mm-hmm. so it's one of my favorite most favorite games of all time um, next to Sonic the Hedgehog, that's 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 where it is for me. Sonic, yeah. Uh, I hope GTA. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. I know it's gonna be a great game, but it also begs the question: Will there be another console cycle? So it's kind of weird. GTA Five has been on three consoles now, three the PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four, and now PlayStation Five. So you mean to tell me they're gonna skip a whole console generation and just show up on like seven? That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Either way it goes, what's even more annoying and if, dare I say crazy, Eric, Texas is, if you had to guess, how many states are between South Dakota and Texas, if you had to guess? You know what, Eric, he probably knows the right answer. So we got Oklahoma, Nebraska, and then we have Colorado. Texas. No, 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 no. Colorado's to the to the west. Okay. I'm going straight up north. I'm going Texas to Oklahoma. Uh huh. Oklahoma to no Oklahoma to Kansas. Kansas to Nebraska. Uh huh. Nebraska to South Dakota. Okay. So I I I heard him saying I think it's four. <laughs> I think it's four. But for some strange reason, South Dakota is sending their national guard, a private national guard team, to Texas to help them with the border crisis. Now, Eric, you live in Texas. Um, Can you explain to me the crisis at the border that would require another state to send a private military to assist? No, that actually bothers me. (laughs) I understand why they do it, but here's the deal. The reason why they can do that is because of something we'll talk about later but the the texas governor just passed quite a few laws that would allow such a thing to happen a private military force to load up with their weapons 
drive across state lines, not be subject to any searches or seizures by any federal agencies en route to the do, having it a documented trip into the state. Yeah, they're completely they're completely immune to any of those things. It it's really interesting to me that they're coming here to go help a a non-existent crisis. Now there would be some conservative people that come on here and say, "Eric, how how dare you say that? You're just not informed." And I would say, "No, I'm very well informed. I live in this state. I know very much what goes on. I travel to El Paso quite frequently. I see what things go on. There's things that can be fixed." I said, "The reason I'm not getting off into the the true details because if I started breaking it down for you guys, you guys head explode because you're too far to the right." to uh, have any sense so this is all just a plot to get more bodies to go down here to make a stink really i think this is for governor abbott to say that he is trump 2.0 that's i think he's gonna make a bid at the presidency and this is all gas no breaks mm. kind of uh politics mm. um hero do you think i'm far off no, I, I think it's a complete sham and a complete waste of resources, right, cool. especially Perfect. when especially when literally Texas is going through one of the worst heat waves in the country and these these provide these why? troops but why though? But tell them why. Tell them why we're going through a heat wave right now. <laughs> Aircot man. <laughs> Thank you. So the thing that the thing that's bro, baffling. Hold on, pause pause you right there, bro. Do you know we got in the mail, in our mailbox, could you guys please keep the uh, thermostat set to 78. Hey, Eric, you want to know something that's even more scarier? People who have what? smart devices, they have been locked out of changing that stuff. Ooh, rough. It, it's, it's crazy. But to the point, the thing that you have to understand about this story is when you don't have any policies or anything pertinent to give to your people, you give them this. You you create these falsehoods. It's 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 maddening, the the amount of things that he could fix with one stroke of his pen, but he refuses to give a victory to anyone other than his allies. Right. So, that's the story. That's the thing. But we'll come back to this. But you want to know what isn't? Uh, what is kind of funny when you try to send a spaceship that looks like a penis into space and a random. Boeing Jet 77 traveling to nowhere, Nebraska, interferes with this, so all 88 of your satellites are grounded for further mission details. Um, SpaceX was trying to send a satellite up into space. It failed horribly. Tragic situation, but I honestly think that uh, space shouldn't be privatized because when they destroy this Earth and it's time for us all to leave, they're definitely going to be charging an arm and a leg, literally. Um, but yeah, it's super crazy out here. Uh, trust me, uh, Superhuman, stick with us. You go, you go, you go. Hear some stories, man. But you want to know who didn't stick around, Eric? Apparently, this lady from the Tour de France uh, Uh-oh. had Uh-oh. a sign. I, I'm gonna play this for you and see if I. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. Just l- watch this real quick. I don't know if it's even on screen. Yeah. And she sticks a sign out, and it just causes this chain reaction. And one person has dropped out completely from the tour. A hundred people have been injured and had to see the roadside doctor. Over $10,000 in damage. They are looking to sue this lady. They're looking to arrest this lady. And this is just further proof about people going outside. Stay in your goddamn lane. If there's ever been a time for you to stay in your goddamn lane, it's at a world at the Tour de France. It literally is about staying in your goddamn lane. There's rules on why to pass. There's rules on how to pass. Why the fuck would you not follow those goddamn rules? I hope they find you. And you want to know what's really funny about this video? The lady's wearing a combination of the Where's Waldo outfit. And seeing as how she has probably fled the country, this is a worldwide manhunt. And this is more than ever have I ever wanted Waldo to get his ass beat is this waldo because you're fucking shit up i don't know what are your thoughts on this <laughs> bro that's bogus and she held the sign that she knew what she was doing and you want to know what's crazy and, then, and, then she, and this is how you know she mm-hmm. knew she was doing she dipped she, she dipped. dipped first of all without but hold on bro this is my thing with all those cameras out there how come nobody 
Rewind, no producer rewound back. She Looks so was like, she uh, has she has it's COVID has protected criminals and this is how she had a mask on, sunglasses on. The only hint we have is the sign she was holding, which is German. And when translated, it says, "Hey grandma, hey grandpa." Our theory is that if her grandma or grandpa sees that note, they will submit her to the authorities. Now, in all truth and honesty. <laughs> and, and yeah, I, in all truth, I think they're going overboard with this. I think this was, I think just by her reaction, it was an honest mistake. She didn't really understand how close she was. But ultimately, you know, they going to put the pins to her. So I hope, I hope they don't, I hope they don't like make an example out of her. I feel like she's the poor last person you want to do this to. All the people running on football fields butt ass naked, I think should serve a way greater punishment than she does. But, you know, this is a different country, so don't give a damn. Um, right. shout out to Apple, uh, actually deciding to launch their new products sometime this year. They actually were able to get enough chips and all that good stuff to make it possible. They're thinking about redesigning the AirPods and the and the laptop that is almost paper thin. I, I you want to know when I know Apple has officially come full circle? They've jumped the shark when they literally give us a piece, two pieces of paper, and say this is the new Mac M- MacBook. And everyone cheers frantically. Uh, as a <laughs> dedicated iPhone 6 user, I'd be damned. But you got to take this from my cold, dead hands. But I'm yeah. not buying any of these products, but it looks good on the algorithm. So there you go. <laughs> Eric doesn't use Mac products, so there's also that. So we can move past this. Um, <laughs> outra- you got like a, a, like a 30 second blur. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, algorithm works, man. Outrage after CNN. Uh, Granlama. Who's this? Granlama? Graholma? How the hell Grand you say Home. Grand Holmes? Home. That is an ugly Home. name. Suggest climate change could have role in Surfside building collapse. Ghoulish. Hey. Uh, I mean, she's she's not far off. He. It looks like a he, right? Uh, no, that's the that's the mayor. That's that that oh, okay. prick mayor. He's he's the one that called her ghoulish. This is obviously Fox News, so they have to have that right leaning uh, thing. But uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, I threw, I did it, Eric. Yeah, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I don't. We clearly know there was some form of negligence. But I don't know, like, I don't know where her science comes from on this. It's plausible, but without evidence, I don't know if this is viable. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that because you you have no way of proving it. I mean, again, and we actually have engineers. Engineers tend to be more scientific in their approach. And we have proof from an, from an actual engineer that this structure was due to collapse. And they did nothing to reinforce the building, to evacuate the building, to actually implode the building with no one in it and rebuild a better, more secure structure. We know that for a fact. So this just sounds dumb to me. Yeah, like you could probably prove a percentage, but I think you would have to blame the poor craftsmanship before you blame the climate on this one. But going further into the story we now have confirmed 12 people dead in this tragic situation and yeah. it just begs the question how many other 40 year old buildings across the country could use this serious make lift facelift especially in the face and the guides of the anthem where we know the infrastructure bill was being halted by some republicans who think he's we're spending too much money on infrastructure I've never heard in my life, I never want to hear someone complain about spending money on Americans. But we do that all the time. Uh, C-section A, healthcare. C-section B, uh, drugs. <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense why we are so opposed to helping ourselves as a nation. What are your thoughts on this? Honestly, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a disagreement, man. I really don't have a disagreement, man. I... I think we we know really what the what's at the crux of this is just greed. We see things like this. People turn a blind eye. It costs too much money. I could take these funds and, and allocate them to my bonus or to my base pay structure instead of hiring an engineer, you know, getting the supplies, evaluating these buildings, see if there's actual structural integrity so that we can avoid tragedies like these. 
I mean, 12 lives is a big deal. I mean, this is people who didn't have to die, especially because we had information. I just think this is just irresponsibility, negligence, and probably greed more than anything. I don't want to spend the money. So it's not it's not worth it. Let's let's do that. Let's beautify our cities. Let's make sure people are safe. And let's just do the right thing. It's not hard to do the right thing. Yeah. Man. Um, but speaking of doing the right thing, uh, turn on your AC because that's the right thing to do if you're on the West Coast right now. Because Portland, it, it, yes, 100%. <laughs> Portland and uh, Seattle saw a heat wave that was so powerful it was melting power lines, causing cracks in the cement. And in real time, people were able to cook eggs on their dashboards. It's crazy to see some of the things that I've seen happening. And just how many people have been hospitalized? This is a homeless shelter that had to. This is a homeless shelter that lost AC. They had to open up a gymnasium to put the homeless and poor. And it, this is when the climate really becomes an issue because we know that there's a group of people that have to live in the elements, regardless mm-hmm. of the circumstances. When it costs, when we have more houses than we have homeless people, homeless people shouldn't exist. So when we have these natural disasters, people talk about why Katrina was why why come we no longer see this type of catastrophe in Katrina anymore, right? They talk about why we don't see this anymore. It's because after Katrina we had all those dead bodies floating in the water and alligators pulling people under. They said, you know what? From now on, homeless people shouldn't exist in our state. And that's th- something they did at least for the lower half of the state that could be put underwater at any given day. Yep. So it's a shame that we have to see bloodshed. But, I mean, if all these people in this room have to die in order to make sure no one else dies, it's such a poor sacrifice. And it just screams in the face of America's the best. America's back, baby. Back to what? Killing people? Our own people? Oh, we ain't never stopped doing that. But I don't know, Eric. What you think? Yeah, it just speaks to we got rid of the loud discrimination for the quiet discrimination is discrimination all the same. I'd rather have the loud discrimination. At least I know who, who doesn't like me, but you know, I digress. The problem that I see here is that we have the sacrifice of somebody's life for this. And it honestly, all the shenanigans that were going on out there in Portland, Seattle, it's a shame that it had to get dumb hot for people to stop focusing on their politics, their their belief, what they think is right, what they feel is right, to focus on the thing that we all have in common, and that's humanity. Man. Everybody can stop, you know, throwing stones at the other side and, and actually stop and say, you know what, people are dying because it's hot as balls outside. Okay, the thing that's most important is that we get cool. And I'd rather be in the cool with somebody that I disagree with than to die in the streets from a heat stroke arguing against them. And I think we need to be really focusing on that as as a group of people. Shout out to my Portland, to my Seattle people. I know it's hot. We know how it feels. I'm I'm from Texas. I've been here the majority of my life. I've lived in Virginia. I kn- I've lived in Tampa, Florida. I know what hot is. And I know what hot and humid is. And I feel for y'all. It's It's crazy. But... You know, fo- focus on humanity. Reach out to people. Check on them. Make sure they're good. Mm-hmm. You know, if you got AC, invite people over. Share. Get the, get 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 a get an exchange of ideas. This is the whole point of the identity boost. We want to identify with y'all. We want y'all to identify with us. Take this time to start identifying with different people, man. Start mm-hmm. focusing on that humanity. That's all I got to say. And, and with that being said, humanity might be in trouble again because Tokyo Olympic torch relay has its first COVID case. The mm. big shit hasn't even started, and we're already running into little shit. Uh, why aren't they just canceling this for the sake of maybe not s- setting a super spreader? Because we know we have the Delta variant that is 75% equity rate when compared to Pfizer and uh, Moderna, some claiming 85%. We also know the Brazilian variant, India ver- variant, and the beta ver- variant are all out there prominently growing. And there's some talks about the Delta and the India version having a baby that will make the vaccine drop back down to 20%. Why would we risk this? 
Why would we risk this? Has everybody already forgot? You spent three weeks outside and you forgot about all of 2020? Oh, we got a reminder for your ass. Eric, what's up? Man, listen. <laughs> the thing is, they delayed the Olympics a year. The Olympics brings in a lot of money for, for cities. They have a lot of these agreements prearranged. These cities spend. They go into massive amounts of debt to set up the infrastructure to be able to facilitate an event like the Olympics. Okay, perfect example is Brazil. Brazil built these massive stadiums, and after the Olympics left, what happened? These stadiums were empty. These hotels were empty, and it crippled a major sector of the economy. And that's the same thing that's going to happen in Tokyo if they don't have, it, have this happen. So, again, they're going to say, you know, limp along, do your thing, take the quote-unquote COVID precautions, but I think this is, a, I think this is an issue. People are still looking at me funny because I'm walking around with my mask on. Number one, I'm not vaccinated. So it's a courtesy to you that I have my mask on. Number two, if you're not vaccinated and I'm not vaccinated, that's just a of precaution for me. So people look at me weird. Does If it's open, out, open air, I'm probably not. But this is millions of people. <laughs> and, if, and Tokyo is, is, is a large city but i don't think is tokyo is as large as dfw i could be wrong maybe it's, it's maybe actually could. significantly larger okay see then that just lets me know my geography is off i mean i don't know how many people are in tokyo i'm, think, I'm thinking of population not size wise okay it's about eight almost eight million people in the dfw metroplex area. yeah population wise tokyo is off the charts man Okay, perfect. So, you know, and the DFW Metroplex is about 140 square miles. I don't know about Tokyo, so I got to do my research there. But I'm probably venturing to say maybe it's like 20, 30 million people, probably something like that. That mm -hmm. might be a, a educated guess. It's but just such a – it's just, it's, it's the it's central dangerous. hub. Yeah, it's, it's just dangerous. too many people. It's, it's and then like you're sending tens and tens of thousands of people from 230-something countries to come participate. That's just – not a good idea and these people are going to stay in a place for three weeks slap each other high five hug sit down break break eat dinner hotel same everything tub shower pool bar sex and then go back to their countries that's Ooh. that sounds dangerous very dangerous very just being dangerous. realistic let's just put it all out there we know how it gets down so that just sounds like a smorgasbord for 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 viruses to hook up and, and come back here and hang out with us and we don't need that we literally just had eight 16 months of nothing i'm not trying to go back to that so be responsible please and thank you and for our last story eric this is one near and dear to your heart uh tell me why sam cedar is a coward in the face of Stephen, or wait, Stephen Crowder is a coward in the face of Sam Cedar. All right, so Stephen Crowder was on with H3H3. I'm not quite familiar with H3H3. Shout out to content. H3H3. Hey, old girl, she miss you. She don't deserve you. She probably had her own issues, but H3H3, man, your podcast is dope. Don't don't worry about the haters. All right, so shout out to H3H3, Hero Fool, which I, I, was, I just learned of who you are. I know who Steven Crowder is. I know who Sam Cedar is. Here's the issue. Steven Crowder got blindsided. He was on with H3H3. They were supposed to debate. H3H3 is not a political guru. He does not, com he does not do commentary on politics. And so H3H3, unbeknownst to Steven Crowder, yielded his, his uh, platform to Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar pops in. Sam Cedar flat out asks him why you want to debate me. Steven Crowder gives the response is because I have over 6 million people uh, subscribed to me on YouTube. And you only have a million. My audience won't know who you are. Mm -hmm. He's like, all the more reason for us to have this debate. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that. Basically, he's trying to say you're beneath me. He was just being real dodgy and suspect. And my issue with that is when you have somebody who's an intellectual challenging you to a debate, you huff and puff like you're this guy on youtube you're not you that guy you're not that guy you're, bro you live in my city i'm born and raised in this city you're not from here you migrated here from a completely different country i see you in uptown i live in uptown 75206 that's the zip code i know you're familiar with it i seen you right here in mckinney 
and Knox right there in front of the crate and barrel with your full freaking Bible full of answers to topics. When somebody gets you dead to rights, you flip and you pivot and you move the goalposts and you change. You are a absolute character, sir. Do if you follow this dude, pay attention to what he does. This right here, I, in my opinion, expose what kind of guy this is. He is playing a character on YouTube for clicks and subs and ultimately dollars, ad revenue that he generates from his Patreon, from his merch, from YouTube itself. Don't get it twisted. Live, Super Chats, Cash Apps, Venmos. Don't get it twisted. This dude has a media quote-unquote empire in a very small way and this is all shenanigans and tomfoolery hero i'm not surprised that he couldn't hand the rain i mean he doesn't look like he drives a jeep shout out to miss ce uh the bigger facts that gonna <laughs> gonna lie here is we're okay with sam cedar shilling for a buck what do you think me and eric are doing right now you think we're here because we like you no we want to get paid over this no seriously we do love you guys it's quite and enjoyable <laughs> but the thing for us is if someone paid us a million dollars to shill for a product yo me and eric going we gonna be some righteous ass dudes with with ever product in our yeah. hand well, obviously yeah. we have Good like up. we have like limits and boundaries we're not gonna be out here shucking and jiving for the man but it's it goes without saying do it with a sense of tolerance about yourself a sense of respect about yourself me and eric are never afraid to head up a debate and we're never afraid to have anyone come on the show and debate with us we debate all the yep. time with people in the chat we welcome it we welcome new opinions and the thing that's most important is me and eric take we relish in the fact that someone has the ability to prove us wrong not yeah. not to, not to make us wrong to prove us wrong because we yeah. will accept it we will accept it we're not going to deny it. And that online debate shit is for the birds. But, Eric, we actually have one more surprise story. And this one I don't have that pulled up, but I just read it on Facebook. Uh, so, Scotty, Pick Scotty Pippen of oh, the Chicago Bulls of the great uh, six-time champion uh, just came out recently and said uh, Phil Jackson was racist as hell. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I, I can buy it. Anybody can be racist. I'm not. I'm not buying it, bro. But I, I don't know if, if Phil Jackson is racist. I think he might be prejudiced, bro. I'm. I'm not buying. It. Okay, think about all the in the the extremely intelligent people. Yeah. Around. So, yeah. The Zen master himself. I. I'm he not. Is exactly. He's a freaking yogi, meditative guy. Think about the people that he coached that are high high functioning people. Michael Jordan. Let's start there. Kobe Bryant. People Shaq, look at Shaq yeah. being a big goofy guy, but Shaq is got a PhD. Shaq's been a deputy. Shaq is worth like over four hundred million dollars. He got into Google in the basement floor. He's not a stupid dude. He's coached these these people. These are really really Steve Kerr. Let's, we, I could just keep going down his. No, resume. I, I don't. I don't think. I. I don't. I don't know if Scotty's doing this. Scotty Pippen is fond of saying some dumb shit, and for a guy from. But he, but, but, he, but he just. But he just released a memoir. He's he's coming at Michael Jordan sideways. Now he's saying that Phil Jackson's racist. I. You know it, what? It just, seems, it just seems like a gimmick to me. Yeah. Do you think? Like what, what was all this? What yeah, was all this yeah. years ago? Yeah, you know how like some people will say that, and this is totally gutter trash. But some people will say, "Well, if she got raped twenty years ago, why didn't she say something twenty years ago?" Hey, bro, if you were getting racist slurs thrown at you before during Game Three of the Finals Championship, that would have been a great time to come out with that story. That probably been yeah. the best time of your life to come out with yeah. that story. So even though that's we we shit on people who do that to the villain, I'm not gonna shit on you for that. But Scotty, Scotty, a day late and a dollar short, bro. Scotty, God, Scotty. You bet. I know where you live. Tighten, tighten, it, tighten it up, bro. Tighten I know where you up. live. Conway, Arkansas. I've been to your house. I had barbecue there when I went to the league. Stop fucking around, Scotty. Hey, get him, bro. Get hey, him. but let me calm the fuck down. Hey, this has been the things we forgot to tell you uh, last week. If there's something we missed, feel free to tell us about it in the comment section below. But for everything else in between time and in the meantime, Eric, where can they catch us? Here on Twitch, baby. We got 87 people rocking with us on Twitch. Shout out to Superhuman581 again. He is rocking with us hard body on Twitch. 
Hey, man, shout out to the booth, boss. Thank you for popping in. I know you were back in the city. You back home, ch uh, chilling with the chilling with the gal. Tell the gal we said what up. Give it a one time for us. Give us the uh, give it a high five. One time. one time from 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 the from the booth. Shout out. Anyway, man. It, and then the other place you can find us is uh, on that link tree, man. We we definitely kicking it off on Anchor. Shout out to Anchor for uh, giving us some coins over there. Mm. So. We greatly appreciate you. So that link tree is down in the description. Go down there. If you're rocking with us on Twitch, man, we got a subscribe button. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and drop that donation in there, man. It's going to a good cause. So just go ahead. Shout out to all the people subscribing with us, man. Thank you so much. You guys take care of yourself. Uh, put on your mask. Get your shot. Do whatever you can to protect yourself and your neighbor. Stop being selfish, y'all. All right? Uh, we got some more show coming for you. Just sit back and catch the vibes, But it's so hard to find through the daily grind. We're working overtime. And I'm sleep deprived. Shorty on my line and we feel some fight. Seems like every night. Don't care who's wrong or right. I hope the end is like. Slow it down and we can catch the vibes.